Hi. Hi. Oh, I've been fighting an alien. Believe me, it's not the best thing in the world. Now, um, you know why I've been fighting an alien? Because in the science books, they always say that the mass of the earth is 5.972 times 10 to the power 24. So I wanted to find out how they found this number, this magic number. How did they do it? Did they balance put the earth on a big scale? So I asked people, I asked, I called Cambridge, I called uh, Imperial College, I called uh, NASA. No one told me. But the last bit, I decided to call Tagabaranagitigini. Tagabaranagitigini is a friend enemy of mine. Sometimes he's a good guy, sometimes he's a bad guy. So I didn't know how he was going to behave today. So I told him, can you please help me understand it? Because he seemed to know everything. He told me, he started fighting me, telling me that he can't because that job is for aliens only, not humans like me. So he fought me. He put me down. That guy is very strong. You don't want to fight him. Anyway, um, I told him, please, I need to do this. It's for my students. And he said, oh, you should have told me that. It's for, my, it's for your students. That's fine, that's fine, okay, I'll let you go, but I'm not going to help you. You have to do it on your own. Anyway, that's why I'm here. Thank you very much for saving me, my students and other viewers. So, if you are new here, thank you uh, for coming uh, to watch uh, my YouTube channel. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much for coming back. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and share. Now. What we do in Uncle Ken channel is we use maths to uh, learn things in the world, solve problems, uh, understand phenomena, and that's what we do all the time in a fun way, in a nice way, and we enjoy it. So basically, I think you and me are analysts. So, and if you love maths the way I do, you're crazy with maths like me, I love you for that. So today, we're going to find whether we can actually calculate the mass of the earth just using a simple formula. So this is about the power of mathematical formula. Now, how do we find the mass of the earth? First of all, we need to do, uh, we need to do something. We need to understand a few, some data. We know this is the, the mass of the earth as calculated by scientists, and it is 5.972 times 10 to the power 24 kilograms. We know the average density is 5.5 grams per centimeter per cubic centimeter, and we also know that the radius of the earth is 6,370 kilometers. Now, that's the earth. But if you look at the earth, it's not exactly spherical because anything that goes in a sphere that goes uh, accelerates on a certain axis tends to bulge at the equator and it's flat. At the poles. So, however, we are going to assume that the earth is a sphere. And this is the formula we're going to use. The volume of a sphere is 4 over 3 pi r cubed. 4 over 3 multiplied by pi multiplied by r cubed. Now we are uh, we have we know what pi is, and we know r is 6370 kilometers, so 4 over 3. So the volume is, use my calculator, 4 divided by 3 times pi times 6370 to the power 3, that's 1.08, 1.08 to 6, 9, Six nine times ten to the power twelve. So the volume of the earth is one point zero eight two six nine six nine times ten to the power twelve cubic kilometers. Now, but we also know some information here. We also know the density. The density of the uh, of the earth. Uh, the average density is five point five grams per cubic uh, centimeter, but we need to find it in cubic kilometers so that we can uh, use the same um, units. So how do we do that? 
How we do that is we, let's have a, a cube. That's a cube. And that is one kilometer. One kilometer. One kilometer. Now let's convert this into centimeters, cubic centimeters. Now one kilometer is about 1,000 is 1,000 meters. So if I multiply by 1,000, uh, one kilometer is 1,000 meters. I need to multiply by 100 to make centimeters. That means one kilometer is 100,000 centimeters. And the, the other side too is 100 centimeters. And the height too is 100 centimeters. Aha! So we can actually calculate the volume of a cubic kilometer in centimeters. That means that we can do this. We can say, I'm just going to do it here. That uh, volume in cubic centimeters is 100,000 to the power 3. And that is the same as 10 to the power 15. cubic centimeters. But now, each one of these cubic centimeters is exactly 5.5 grams. So I need to multiply that by 5.5. So that means I have the total mass. Now we talk about mass because I'm going to multiply that by the density, which is 5.5 times 10 to the power 15 grams okay now this is 5.5 times 10 to the power 15 grams but I need kilograms because that's what we need to, to have here that means I need to divide this one I need to divide this by 10 to the power 3 to make it kilograms and that therefore my mass will be 5.5 times 10 to the power 12 kilograms. Ah, this is the mass of a cubic kilometer in kilograms. Now, what I need to do now is I need to use a little formula which is called, I'm going to just put it down here, but mass equals volume times density. If I have density multiplied by the volume, now, all I need to do now is multiply this one here. Multiply this here by that one. Okay? Now, that's 5.5. If I multiply 5.5, 5.5 times 10 to the power 12 multiplied by 1. 0.0827 times 10 to the power 12, that's an approximation, gives me 5.95. So I multiply that one, the mass, total mass of the earth now is 1.0827 to four decimal places times 10 to the power 12 multiplied by 5.5 times 10 to the power 12, and that gives me 5. Point, oh, it's gone now. Got to repeat again, sorry. 1.0827 times 10 to the power 12 multiplied by 5.5 times 10 to the power 12. 5.955 to three decimal places multiplied by 10 to the power 24. So that's our estimate or our calculation of the mass of the earth. Now, this one that's in kilograms. Oh, we have a small problem here because that 
is not to equal to what we've been given by scientists. Now, we want to calculate the percentage error of this. Percentage error, I'm, I'm just going to do it somewhere here. Percentage error, when you do some estimate, you compare that with the, the actual. It's normally calculated as the estimated, which is that one. Subtract actual, which is that one. We are taking that one as actual because there are scientists who calculated that. Divided by actual. And then multiplied by 100. Now, if I do this, I will, I will do uh, so 5.955 times 10 to the power 24 minus 5.972 times 24. I subtract that, and then all that. I divide by the, this one, 5.97. And if I do that, let's see what we get. So here I'm using the calculator function, which is, um, I put in brackets there because I need to subtract. 5.955 times 10 to the power 24 brackets minus 5.972 times 10 to the power 24 brackets. I'm going to divide by 5.972 times 10 to the power 24. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply that times 100. When I do that, multiply by the hun by 100, I get 0. Point, that's a negative 0. 0.284 percent. Normally, when we are doing such calculations, unless we are doing that in chemistry or other sciences, when it's maths uh, calculation, we just leave it as a positive, we just leave it as absolute. So our percentage error is 0.28 to two decimal places percent. Now that's that's about a, less than a third of one percent, and that's really good. So we can demonstrate that the power, the power of this formula, just calculating the mass of the earth, as simple as we as as it looks like, and that is that is very good. However, I would like you to I'll give you some homework, and if you've got any questions, please uh, just throw, drop me a, a comment. I would like you to give you some work to try to figure out whether you can actually improve on this accuracy so that your answer can be as close as possible to the one given by scientists, as 5.972 times set power 24 kilograms. And the way you can do it is, number one, instead of using 6,371 as the radius of the earth, use 6,371, which is probably more accurate. Second thing, instead of using an average of 5.5 grams per centimeter, per, per cubic centimeter, uh, subdivide the earth into concentric uh, spheres. You've got the core of the earth, which is the densest one, which is about 11 grams per centimeter cube. Calculate that, the, the mass of that, because it's, the, the radius is 3,000 kilometers, and then calculate the mass of the mantle, which is 3,300 kilometers deep, and also the, the mass of the crust, which is about 70 kilometers. The mass of the crust is made up of two um, crusts. There's the continental crust and there's oceanic crust. The continental crust is a bit bigger. Oceanic crust is a bit shallow. The deepest part is about 11 kilometers, Mariana Trench of Mariana Island. Uh, and saying it's shallow it's deep i can't swim i can't even swim anytime the bathtub is full i have to say ask Lita, where's my where's my floater anyway so calculate that and see whether you got um, a better estimate and if you have any problem let me know and thank you very much for watching until next time thank you very much